Hello, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to tell you guys all about the resources I used for my first year. Now, this is going to include books, YouTube channels, and also some general tips and tricks for each subject. The video is especially relevant right now because uh, counseling is going to start very soon. And all of my cuties that gave me 23 this year are going to be entering college very soon. It's very, very important to know about the right books and YouTube channels because they really do make all the difference. The channels and books that I'm going to tell you guys about, I discovered them very, very late, like almost six, seven months into my first year. I don't want you guys to be wasting all that time. And that's why I want you to be thorough with everything, even before college starts. Watch till the end of the video, because I'm going to be giving you some big sisterly advice on how to sail through and survive the first year of your med school life starting with my favorite anatomy now for anatomy the book that most people prefer is bdc bd Chaurasya. it is the standard book for anatomy but for some reason when i had gone to buy my books first time though i didn't even have like research or anything but just for some reason i did not even look at bdc and i did not even consider buying it i just instantly went to vishram singh now i don't know what went on in my head at that time but i'm so so thankful that i did what I did. Shram Singh is hands down the best book for anatomy out there. The diagrams, the language, the content, everything is top notch. You should definitely refer to Grace as well to get a general overview of anatomy. I would not really recommend buying Grace. You should just borrow it from the library. And that's what I would recommend you guys to do as well. Now, I was definitely very, very happy with the choice of books that I made. But one thing that I would do differently if I could advise my first year self would be that I would practice more MCQs rather than just preparing for subjective exams. You only understand the importance of practicing MCQs once you start solving them and you realize how unprepared you are for it. And given the importance of MCQs, keeping NEAT, PG and other competitive exams in mind. One thing that I would recommend you guys to do in your first year itself is that definitely get an app or any course where you can practice MCQs. And my personal favorite for this save is the QBank 5.0 on the Prep Ladder app. With features like active guidance, learning objectives, toggle clinical questions, it really is the most effective revision tool. The questions are also video tabbed. In case you have a doubt, you can always refer to the videos and get a quick recap of the concept. Now, I know that there's so much confusion about next and neat and all of that. But one thing's for sure that this question bank is sufficient for any and all PG exams. I'm using it now and I only wish I had started sooner. Now, one thing that you just have to do for anatomy is download the 3D anatomy app. Now, coming to the most important thing for anatomy, dissection hall. Do not miss a single dissection hall class because the things you will learn in dissection hall, trust me guys, no book, no YouTube channel, no app can compare to that. You can't possibly do anatomy just by reading or looking at diagrams in the book. It's just impossible to read all that theory without visualizing what it actually is. And if you're doing it, it doesn't have any benefit. Because you will just be mugging things up. And I would suggest you guys to take your books with you in dissection hall. Whatever you're reading in the book, usko usi time body with equal. You will never forget it because visual memory is very strong. The things that I actually very properly studied in the dissection hall, especially upper limb and uh, lower limb, I remember every single muscle. The most important thing about dissection hall, please, please learn to respect that word. There is no bigger blessing and no bigger help for us medical students than these cadavers. Now here I have a list of all the YouTube channels for anatomy. I will definitely link them down below so you can check them out easily. For dissection videos specifically, we have Cindy Gill, Institute of Human Anatomy of course, Dr. Mitesh, Dr. Viren, loved his dissection on neuroanatomy. Cindy Gill, especially for brachial plexus, no better explanation than the one on this channel. For theory, we have Dr. Najib, of course. Ken Hub Anatomy is again a very, very good channel. Then we have Dr. Bhanu and my personal favorite, Sam Webster. His general advice for anatomy would be definitely attend classes because, um, you know, those small, small details that you hear in class. What are exam the exams? Personally, I used to be a calm attentive in class, but that's what I'm going to tell you guys. If you're going to college, just make use of it. Don't just sit in class and waste your time. Personally, I am also not the most attentive in class. 
but if you can be attentive trust me you will be doing yourself a very big favor because it really helps during exam and i'm telling you if you're consistent if you're uh, attentive you will be helping yourself only okay now moving on to biochemistry now i know that biochemistry is a subject that most of us are scared of especially initially gradually when you get a hang of the subject it, it's actually very very interesting especially because you know you can relate it a lot with like practical life because you know we've grown up seeing all these lab reports and everything and they just start making sense to you for biochem vasudevan versus satyanarayan versus lippincott now lippincott i did not refer to it enough to you know comment on it but one pro of lippincott that i can definitely tell you guys is that it's got very very good flow charts and diagrams and cycles but talking about vasudevan versus satyanarayan just blindly purchase vasudevan satyanarayan simply is just not enough it is a very very simplified book of course it's great for those days when you know kal fa aur humne ek raat pehle padhna shuru kiya for those times it is definitely a life saver but you cannot solely rely on it because you will just not gain much knowledge from it now the youtube channel not channels because there's only just one channel you need to know about for biochemistry and that is dr jambulkar jambulkar sir is the sole reason why i passed biochemistry and i started loving it so much i used to open and refer to his lectures even before i would open the book i studied each and every chapter of biochemistry from john bulker sir's lectures i used to make notes simultaneously which by the way is very very important you should always make notes for biochemistry because it's a very volatile subject you don't know how he does it but at the end of his lecture you will realize that you've actually covered some very very complex topics in the simplest manner now i did not really refer to any other channel for biochem one channel that did help me was amoeba sisters they make some really cute animations on these little biochemistry topics talking about my most dreaded subject physiology oh god i had such a tough time with physiology is that you know how in anatomy me you can like see what you're studying you can actually observe what is written in the books but physiology for me was just such an imaginary subject because you know, there's nothing you can do to actually observe how it's happening i bought guidin in the beginning of the year but the sad thing was that my college had recommended us to buy indu khurana and the teachers used to also teach us a little bit according to hindu khurana and i personally really did not like that book and so for almost like half of the year i was just constantly searching for which book to get i used to go to the library i used to try to find new books every day for physiology but eventually i realized that i think i should have just stuck to guyton one book that made physiology bearable for me was mini guyton it's called the pocket guide or something it was very concise it was very cute <laughs> Once I used to read a particular topic from there, I would open the big guide and you know it would not be as scary anymore. Starting to get into a habit of reading guide because you will eventually need it for your competitive exams, especially for USMLE or your all of these exams. YouTube channels that really helped me a lot with physiology, of course. I don't even have to say this again. Doctor Najib, Osmosis, and Ninja Nod are just the holy grail for all subjects across. your mbbs along with that nucleus med and dr preeti tyagi's lectures were very very helpful uh, pay a lot of attention during practicals and your clinical uh, classes because again case studies are very very important now coming to the most important part of the video which is going to be totally unscripted and just very heart to heart i talk about my experience personally i was just beyond excited for college that i never really um you know stopped to think about the fact that things like homesickness you know just the general process of adjusting really do matter a lot as well i just want you guys to know that that's completely normal don't worry if it takes you longer than other people to get adjusted to new surroundings take your time and gradually get comfortable everybody's journey is different so don't compare yourself Don't get stressed out if you think that other people are forming groups and you've not found your people yet. The most important thing to remember is that don't just become friends with people because instead of being alone. That's the worst thing you can do for yourself because it's very important to surround yourself with people who you genuinely like. There is no use being with people who you're hanging out with just for the sake of it. It really drains your energy. Second thing to remember always focus on your main goal. See friends, fights, 
drama all of this is a part of college life and it will continue but it is up to you how you're going to shield yourself from all of this and maintain focus at the end of the day none of that is going to matter to you as much as your grades and your knowledge will important thing that i have learned is that there is comfort in studies it's weird but on your worst and on your lowest days one thing that will keep you going is academic validation <laughs> and that is especially true for courses like medicine that was about it for this video for all my cuties that are going to college this year really hope that the next five years of college life turn out to be the best for you guys if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to leave a comment down below i love to read all your comments my mom loves to read all your comments and i have family basically just loves to browse through all these comments and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye-bye.